Hello, my lovely Libra. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Libra, welcome to your monthly reading. This will be the month of April 2020. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. General reading, my loves. No matter what, who you are and where you are, and if you are inclined to see this video, is a message here for you. If you are coupled, single, separated, or who, where you are, you have a few messages in this reading. All right, Libra, today we'll do a very extensive reading. As you always know, the monthly are bigger than any other reading, and I use the oracle for advice for you. If you're dealing with any zodiac sign or you are curious what's going on with them towards you or them towards you or you towards them, we have all the zodiac signs from Aries to the Pisces and we'll clarify with this deck. I did pre-shuffle every single deck. The overall energy for this month will take from the Mystic Monday and of course our energies from Radiant Spirit Wise Tarot. Let's see here Libras, what we got here for you and how the energy plays for you in this month. I want to thank each of you who are joining here, who are present on this beautiful channel. You are part of the family and I claim each message to be resonating with you loves. All right, loves, we have number 38, to be fair, and underneath we have the fates, number 17. Whatever you are going through now, as we have the fates, you know it is fated. And to be fair, as you know, this could be you, loves. Look at here, there is, is the scale, the balance. For some of you, you look for the fairness, and as you know, 3 plus 8, it's 11. For many of you, you might deal with a twin flame. But let's see here, 38 card, what's meaning for you, and what's the energy between you two and this person. All right, to be fair, I feel here somebody is looking for balance, for some of you, for justice. For some of you is mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect in the relationship. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned and you will learn as if you remain open and objective, waiting your options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued and respected. Be fair to all. All right, loves, I feel here there is some sort of exchange this month, and I feel here many of you, you need to look for the fairness. Also, look deep inside of your heart. Are you fair, first thing first, to you? And is this situation worth to be here or not? Let's see here, my loves, what we got here. We have temperance energy here, Sag energy. For many of you, Libra might deal with a Sag. But I definitely see here, as you see here, also it's all about balance and being in patience, being patient. Also, as you see here, it is a bigger ball and four other smaller. Is this truly what you need to or not? And I feel here everybody sees the situation differently the world two major arcana as so far but i definitely see here some, something is at the end here eight of swords somebody cannot yet moved on or move on at this time even something it is over somebody here is healing two two cards we have ten of wands dealing by yourself or just 
doing everything by yourself. Some of you, you need to speak up because two of swords here is like, I'm very much closed off. And underneath here you are, the Empress, my loves. Okay? For some of you, you are very closed off because something ended and you feel that was just one-sided. But I feel here you are very abundant at this month. It is a month of abundance. And Spirit says, do not block the abundance. Also, for some of you, you need to let others to help you. Not necessary to give you the help with their hands, but a good advice. For some of you, you are traveling and you feel like whatever business you do, I feel like there is so many, it's like it's a mountain of problems and you don't really know if you can go through that or not. Spirit says, with openness, you will go through that, okay? Whatever you feel right now stuck or feel like I cannot go through that. Be more open, my loves. For some of you, Libra, you, it is a month where you are ending a long-term relationship. And you feel kind of like it is hurting, but it is necessary. For some of you, you tend to close off and it's like... It's kind of you are going in a hermit mode. And spirit advise you to not do that. Find something good to do or find good people around you who you can be surrounded. It's like good company always is welcomed. But let's see here. All right, loves. Let's see here what we got. And what we have underneath the deck. Nine of Pentacles. I can do it everything on my own. For those of you singles, Spirit says, as you open up, there is love for you. For some of you who are not really looking for love, Spirit says, start loving yourself because what you have, you attract. Okay? The law of attraction, my loves. Be honest with yourself, Ace of Swords. There is some clarity here. Family energy here. Money energy here. There is a lot of unclear energy will be clear this month. Or a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion you gone through. Could be emotional confusion or even financial confusion. That will be clear out. Also, don't keep it just for you. It's like it's just my fault or it's just me and things like that. Talk. Talk to the family. People closer to you. Because I see you, it's kind of like I am away of everybody. And you being away and you closing yourself, that's not will help you. That will not help you. That will change. Okay? I feel here is a Libra who is basically doesn't want to engage with anybody at this moment. And it's, it even doesn't want to talk with anybody. It feels like I can deal with everything by myself. That's not true. There is people who does want to help you, who does want to be there for you. And it's like they are suffering for you. They are feel very bad. You are dealing with this and not even expressing. Okay? Here you are, my loves. Justice. Knight of Swords. It's like if you are, will talk with people, it's like you will pour all your anger out there. Something here feels like done and over. Page of Cups here. Queen of Swords. I feel here you... You could deal here with the Scorpio. I see Sag also. But it is a water sign. Devil. Ace of Pentacles. And Judgment. There is a new beginning here. Anyway, if you've been married or committed with somebody here, I feel here that was not love 
as you felt love, the other person was not truly there for you. For some of you could be a Capricorn, for some of you could be another Libra. But I see very a water, very much a water sign here. Spirit says it's time for you to understand that there is a better future for you than with this person. Okay? And don't be like, oh, they done this and they betrayed me or whatever they done to you. It's kind of, it's okay sometimes to cut your losses because being in that energy, that was not even any way fulfilling you. And it's kind of, sometimes you don't need to hang yourself in a situation which you can be free, like this Nine of Pentacles, and go and find the real person you need. Okay? And you do have people who help you, yes, they do, okay, there is some contracts here, you might feel is not fair, and you feel like everything is, it's here, like, against you, but actually that will free you, and you later, you will understand what was that, something here, for sure, it's done and over, even right now, you feel so bad, later, you will understand, why is this okay there is a new beginning for you libra okay why do you say that because this person anyway offer you very little okay this anyway offered you very little somebody here might steal your money or due to a divorce or separation was not giving you you know exactly what you need here for some of you, you sold the house here and it was like at the half price here. It's a lot of about money. And why do you say that? Because there's whatever I see here is just seven of cups. The confusion you've gone through. Okay. There is family around this Libra here. So I will say let the family help you and don't do everything by yourself. Okay, there is some contract sign here. Why the Six of Pentacles here? Moon, a lot of lies. Somebody here lied about money. Sun, somebody here lied to get what they want. But for some of you, you deal with somebody who was bipolar or deal with some addictions here. And one day they was awesome and the ne next day they were fine. So, and I feel here that that was gone for quite a while here. Seven of Cups. You didn't understood back then why happened here. But I feel here you will. Because whatever you are walking, you're walking towards your, your peace, towards your healing. It is a progressive healing. And you are thinking, why they done that to you? How they could done that to you? But I feel here the universe is giving you another opportunity to start something new. And you kind of don't see it. You don't see it. You don't see it. Five of Pentacles. I feel here, for some of you Libras, right now you feel this way. I lose everything, I'm not good at anything, but the universe is telling you sometimes what is garbage could be a treasure. Even you didn't want that, the universe is telling you you need that for you to understand your true value. And for some of you, you had like, I always wanted this person to be in my life or always want this person to be the love of my my life. For some of you, you definitely, with that two of cups, you feel that was your twin or your lover or the love of your life. And actually, that person gives you only troubles, problems. Okay? For some of you, there is talk between you and this person. But I feel here, the universe, even right now, you don't see what's coming. 
but the universe actually is redirecting you towards what you always ask for and what you always desire and wanted okay so my loves I feel here you are ready take it slow take it slow but I definitely see you like a hermit how I did said at the first you closing off take your time and move slowly move slowly it's okay for some of you you deal with the water sign for some of you it is a Capricorn here for some of you it is a fellow Libra I see Aquarius and I see a Leo here but Libra we have all the aces here the universe is giving you another opportunity here yes many of you might feel like yes you know I'm not sure because I'm not that age to go to have a new beginning you always can start something new you always have to start something new because you are worth it okay and the judgment here is telling you that the universe is sending you towards a past life connection which you will feel very comfortable very familiar very much like you know that person it's kind of it's sending you from a dark place to the lightest place is like from the dark to the light so accept that accept that my loves let's see here if you are dealing my lovely Libra with anybody from the zodiac science the Emperor we have here an Aries Libra and Aries if you Libra deal with an Aries Aries and Libra Libra and Aries let's see well one of you it is it's feeling here like if we can overcome this I will never walk away but I feel here somebody here needs to and actually both of you needs to come at same terms okay because they are too strong headed heads here and whatever is unfulfilling you you need to speak it up if will not be communication or proper communication to be understood there will be a breakup later on hierophant taurus taurus and libra Let's see, this person, all right, loves, this person is very much wanting to be with you. Okay, also, there might be a child in the picture. One of you might deal with somebody else, but I feel here somebody here does love you and is very happy to see you, but it is an ex. Uh, mother figure or a baby mama or a baby daddy who is still in the picture I don't feel that person is with this Taurus if you are the third party or you just started the relationship with this person but I definitely see here this Taurus want to be with you not with the other person the other person is just interfering into this if you are dealing with a Gemini, Libra and Gemini, Gemini and Libra. Let's see. This person is very focused on their money, career, friends. It's like they see you as a friend. Somebody here, it's kind of, they need to choose. Either they are with their friends, their work or with you. Because I feel here this person is more like single than coupled with anybody. Okay? It's a people's person, yes. But this person is, it's all over the place but not with you. Okay? Let's see here. If you are dealing with a Cancer, Libra and Cancer. There is more needed more balance in this connection one of you is not sure of the other one for some of you 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 don't really know where you stand with this person it is over or not 
there will be communication between you and this person but I feel here one of you is more focused on their finances than on you or on the love towards you if you are dealing with a Leo I don't see this person very honest towards you they might even hurt your feelings or hurt you either you hurt them or they hurt you but there's no communication between you two the love it's still there one of you loves the other one very much the other one is not fully honest and that's why it is an ending between you two there, that's why is no talk because one of you it is the sneakiest person in the world if you are dealing with a Virgo this person is watching you or you watching them they do want a new beginning they want to come back there is a big desire to come back and talk I do want to come and talk to you but it's like on my own terms okay it is telling me here will be a come back and talk okay but this person is more like you know one of you or both of you could be in that like no you gotta come and talk no you gotta come and talk they are two stubborn people in here if you are dealing with a fellow Libra this person is very confused also they are very unsure if that will be a comeback somebody here is at the distance and somebody feels like the other one keeps their options open there was a breakup here and somebody left the other one there is a soulmate energy but there was too much of confusion between the two also was commitment issues between you and this person if you're dealing with a Scorpio well if is unrequired love between you and this person is because they are leaving a life partner also they have money issues here if you give them time with the time you can be with this person if they are married with you they feel it's a very hard time in their life right now they going through a lot of shit sorry for saying my loves but this person is going through if you are loving um, Scorpio this person is even depressed a little bit or feeling like nothing works for them also they may have a business or something like that also not going very well it's like this person needs quite a little time to to get themselves together if you have patience that could be a very good outcome okay if you are separating from them it's like over between you two if you are dealing here with a Sagittarius well this person feels like they are not over you, they are constantly thinking of you, whatever you separated or whatever break between you two was not fair between you two. They do want to come back here, but somebody is holding back. They absolutely want you back. They they are non-stop thinking of you. They are non-stop like, I want my Libra back. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, well the one who put resistance here it's real somebody here it is resisting because the other one is in a marriage or a commitment and is an in and out connection yes that's why that resistance is real because somebody here is in and out somebody here it is cheating on their partner so be careful with that Capricorn because there's a lot of red flags if you resist if they resisting is because there is something else in between you two if you are dealing here with an Aquarius this Aquarius does love you they want to talk to you and I feel here if you are in a relationship with an Aquarius 
they absolutely loves you or you love them and I feel here is a talk about a separation or about a refreshing energy because somebody here it is feeling like nothing goes or things needs to be more balanced out but there is good outcome coming here I feel here somebody needs to talk more their feelings not just to think their feelings if you are dealing with a Pisces well this person does regret whatever is here there is some addictions healed here like most likely sex addictions if you're dealing with a Pisces they might have that or you might have that they do regret whatever is here they do healing those things they do regret but I feel here it's like they do want you back but their ways of doing things will still continue somebody here needs to put their foot down here okay and take a real healing they might even tell you yes I did have that and and things like that but they do want to come back they do have some regrets but I don't see them fully honest okay so somebody really needs to give it time to heal whatever addictions here have been for this connection to come together okay so yes my loves Libra this I got for you for this month and again I want to thank each of you who are coming to the channel blessings to all of you if you are new to the channel please do subscribe for more content if you are always here thank you for watching thank you for being here blessings to all of you blessings to all of you who are trusting my services and booking a reading and thank you for watching all of you please do comment below subscribe share give me your feedback and many blessings all this month health blessings love and much much abundance love and light to you libra and we'll see you next time namaste